Hey, Calvary Chapel, North Long Beach. We're so excited for the things that God is doing right now. It's pretty awesome to watch. If you were with us this last Sunday, you were able to experience just the way that God met us. It was so awesome, so overwhelming, so edifying, and so encouraging that coming out of that service, we had a certain idea how we might approach um, the ministry and our church services for the next, um, well, for the foreseeable future during this whole COVID-19 crisis. But then things started to change within the last couple of days. If you didn't know, on Monday morning, the President of the United States, in recommendation of the CDC, asked all gatherings of 10 or more people to shut down for the next 15 days. And then on Monday evening, the city of Long Beach actually put a prohibition um, by the health department actually put a prohibition on all gatherings meeting, meeting within the city limits of 50 or more people. And so we believe that God would call us to live out in obedience. And in Romans chapter 13, inspired by the Holy Spirit, the Apostle Paul instructed us to come under the uh, authority of the governors that God has placed over us, the government that God has placed over us. And then in First Peter, we're told to do the same. And so we are called to be good to our leaders. We're called to come under their submission and recognize that they're for us and not against us. And that is the case um, right now. See, they're not telling us to shut down because they're trying to restrict our relationship with God. This isn't about them trying to keep us from meeting as a church. This is them using a strategy to kind of work in our own best interest for our own health. And so we're going to respect that. Um, agree with it or not, we are going to trust that God is leading them in leading us. And so with that, we are going to prove ourselves to be a people of faith, that we believe God and we believe in God's work and we believe in God's power to meet his people in ways that may or may not make perfect sense to us because God works outside of our boxes. He is alive and he is powerful. And if the gospels teach us anything, it teaches us that God can move and will move in a personal way, even if it is at a distance. And so for the next two weeks, in just two weeks, we're going to go strictly mobile. Now, the reason why I say only two weeks is because we're going to go according to the president's recommendation of 15 days. Now, we'll reassess at that point, but for two weeks, we're going to go mobile. And this is what that's going to look like. We're not shutting down as a church, not at all. Um, but what we are going to do is for our Wednesday evening services, we're going to make that a prayer meeting. Um, and so, if we have more than 10 people meeting us to pray, this is a large enough facility that we can spread throughout the property and make sure that we keep our prayer groups under 10 people. And, and we'll be able to make sure that there's enough space so we can keep the spirit of the social distancing strategy. Um, but the rest of the ministries, like our men's ministry, our women's ministry, um, Sisters in Christ, and some of our other ministries, we're just going to put a hold on it for a couple of weeks. Now, I do mean put a hold, as in like pushing a pause button on it. We're not canceling them, and we're not shutting it down. I don't like those words because it makes it sound like there's some permanence to it. And as of right now, there's no permanence to that. We're just going to pause and come back in full force as, as soon as we're given the okay to be able to do so, um, really by God more than anything else. And so... Um, and, and so we're going to put our pause on that. And then for our Sunday morning services, we're going to go live stream only. And so we won't be meeting here. We'll just catch us on the live stream. And so get on the website, ccnlb.com slash connect. You'll see um, where there's a button you can push to broadcast live. You can also go to ccnlb.com slash live. Either of those locations will get you to our live stream. And then we'll do one service at 10 30 um and we'll broadcast live now if you're going to have any problems setting up 
your live stream will contact us before Friday and we'll see if we can walk you through it or if necessary send somebody over to your house and help you set up the technical side so that we can make sure that you're online. If for whatever reason you're not able to catch the 1030 broadcast, we're going to archive them so you won't miss anything. But this is really what I'm most excited about, that not just are we going to um, publish a service on Sunday mornings, but we're going to push out content uh, regularly throughout the next couple of weeks on all of our social media platforms. So on our Twitter, on our Instagram, on our Facebook, um, and then on our YouTube channel, look for content that comes from myself, some of our other pastors, um, whether it be a video or an encouragement that's written out somehow or something of inspiration, but this is going to be an opportunity for us to invest in the body in a way that um, we've been praying about doing for a long time, and we're excited to see what God is going to do through all of this. And and so so check out our social media every single day and look for new content and how it can build you up and edify you as we believe that God is going to work through our church in such an amazing way that we haven't expected or seen um, so far. And so, um, you know, I just want to let you know that this is us responding to this, not in fear, but in faith. Faith that God is going to honor our obedience. Faith in the fact that God can reach people even at a distance in a real way. Faith that he is the head of our church. Faith in the fact that God is all-knowing, all-powerful, and ever-present. Faith that he's going to work in us as a family and a body, even if we're disconnected from a couple weeks, because we're really not disconnected in our heart and our ability to reach each other through even social media. And so God can and will work through all of these factors, and we trust him to do so. And so there's no fear in this. This is us acting out in faith. And what it's also going to do is it's also going to prove to a watching world that we are a people of good testimony, that we believe God in his word and we respect those that he's put over us. And we're going to act in such a way that God is going to move and we're going to watch him do it. And they're going to see our faith and our obedience through this. And, and this is going to be us letting our light so shine before men that they see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Now, if you have any questions, please contact us. Let us know. Um, we want to be here for you. If there's any of you that are elderly or sick or just in a place of serious need, hit us up at the church. We'll still be getting your phone calls. Uh, we want to meet you in any way possible to at least or at best pray with you. Um, and then if there's any other way that God would lead us or provide for us to be there for you, we really want to make sure that we do that because we're still a church. We're still the church. We're still a body. We're still family. And so we want to meet each other in the best way and most effective way possible. I would ask you to pray. Just keep praying. Um, God's going to move and just set your eyes on him and let's seek him out together. And then also I'm going to encourage you to use this as an opportunity to reach somebody for Jesus. Um, invest in them, pour out to them, hit them up on social media, see how you can be a servant to them and their needs right now. But let's see how God's going to move through this. And I'll tell you what, I know that when we come back together um, in a couple weeks time, God willing, um, that we're going to have so much to praise him and worship him about as we anticipate him moving at this time. See, this is what the deal is for us. The world, through just the madness of everything right now, they see the Red Sea in front of them. They see Pharaoh's army bearing down on them. And they see the mountains encam um, encamped all around them. They see themselves as trapped and they're looking for a way out. But we as God's people see God making a way. And so we're excited. We're really excited to see how God is going to meet us, how God is going to move, how God is going to glorify himself, and how God is going to grow our church. So if, again, if you have any questions, hit us up social media, hit us up at the church, send me an email, um, and then be checking for regular updates um, through those platforms, through our website and others, as we're going to get you more information as we receive it. God bless you.